All right, so today we are looking at uh, what's known as aldehydes and ketones. And aldehydes and ketones, uh, we talked about together because they have the same functional group. And again, we're kind of talking about functional groups. We have just halogens, and we talked about hydroxy is the functional group for alcohols. And aldehydes and ketones have the same functional group, and it's known as the carbonyl group. And the carbonyl group is simply a C double bonded to an O. Um, and the C lies somewhere in our chain. So the first thing we're talking about is aldehydes. And um, if we have, let's go something kind of like that. And uh, I was going to put a double bond O at the bottom. So because things want four bonds, this carbon wants above, bottom to the left, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. This one already has three bonds. So it's going to have something off to the right. Um, we have three areas of bondings. We have 120 degree angles, um, where everybody else has a 109.5. But it kind of looks like that. So with aldehydes, aldehydes, the carbonyl is always at the end. And by end, because these things happen left, right, right, left, doesn't matter, it's always at an end. So see, it's always on the first carbon but it's always at an end. So either the first or the last, because the first and last are really the same because of how we look at molecules, because, because of the way they exist in three dimensions. So simply on this one, what we do is we identify our longest chain. So we have five carbons in a row. So we know this is pent something. And what happens is, if we have an aldehyde, and we know this is an aldehyde because it is at our carbon at the end, it's called our terminal carbon. Uh, because there's not a carbon right here, this is our last carbon. So because of that, it has the ending an al, just like al, the hyde. Um, yes, it is just really anal. So kind of interesting, but we pronounce it an al. So this is simply pentanol or pentanal, I'm sorry, pentanol would be an alcohol. But this is pentanal, um, and we never use numbers with aldehydes because it's always on carbon number one. So if I were to have a methyl group right here, this would become methyl pentanal, and my methyl group would have to be on carbon number two. How come? Because this is carbon number one. Uh, if this methyl group was right down here, let's say there, I might go, oh, that's easily, that's carbon number two. No, this is, has to be carbon one, because that's where the aldehyde is. So two, three, four. So we would change this to a four methyl pentanal. But again, an al is the way we talk about this, um, and it stands for an aldehyde. Um, one that you're familiar with is this one right here, CCO. Um, this is two. Um, so typically we would call this F and L, but the the historic name for this is formaldehyde. So aldehyde may have sounded familiar because of formaldehyde. And it was a thing to preserve um, biological specimens. So our other one is a ketone. And a ketone is any time we have the carbonyl group somewhere in the middle. So it doesn't matter where in the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly the middle. But if it's not at one of the ends, it is a ketone. So if I draw this one, uh, let's do that. There we go. So if I put my H's, top, bottom, top, bottom, right, top, bottom, top, bottom, left, and then this one doesn't get any on the bottom because it already has four bonds. So again, if I look up here, I have five carbons. So I have a pent again, just like our example up top. But instead of having the suffix an al, it has the suffix anone because it is a ketone. So again, it has the suffix anone instead of an al. And simply, it's called pentanone. And we need to denote where is um, the double bonded O, where's the carbonyl group. So it happens to be on my third carbon. So this is really three pentanone. Um, again, we don't put numbers on the aldehydes because it's always on carbon number one. And then for pentanone, you would just have to denote where is um, the carbon. So it's interesting, we cannot, never, ever, ever, can we have a methanone or an ethanone? How come? 
because neither of these um, have middle carbons. Um, all their carbons are on the outside or are carbon number ones. So these two never exist. Um, our first um, ketone has to be propanone. And that is it for the carbonyl functional group, which makes up aldehydes and ketones.